Right, welcome back to another video guys. Today we're gonna hit Stratford and the first port of call is Base O in Stratford. Um, if you haven't already, do us a favor, click the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications and you will see as and when I'm uploading whatever video I choose on that particular day, whether it be game reviews, uh, visit to game shops or long plays, you'll know about it first and foremost. Anyway, um, this was a journey I did on the way back from the Woolwich branch of CEX. And there's a couple of franchises out there that kind of mimic CEX to a point. Uh, Base O is one of them, and you'll see the other one once I leave Base O. So, the last time I was in here, um, it didn't have half the stock that I'm showing you now. Prices are all over the place as well. Some stuff is really well priced, and then, you know, there's other stuff that they seem very reluctant to budge and put their stuff down, you know. Although this looks like a bargain. I'm not sure. I need to go home and uh, read up on this game. For £12 for a PlayStation 5 game. Can it be that bad? But yeah, a lot of their um, big AAA titles, the prices are really staying the same. They're not coming down in any kind of sale. Although Dead Space there is reasonable at 22 but it seems to have dropped everywhere with CEX um, having it at £12 last week and it's recently just gone back up to 15 I missed out on the £12 because um, I wanted to go home and check to see if it's on Game Pass. But I will be picking it up even at £15 I think that looks a very good deal. So you can see they've got quite a good selection in here. Obviously not as good as the majority of your CEXs out there, that kind of thing. Now this was a bit odd. A glass cabinet in the middle of the shop and uh, a wee fit there. Lots of Yoshi eggs and Adidas trainers. Now I'm not sure what the relevance are of those pairs, but these ones seem to be uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Adidas. I'll be honest, at £80, I was not looking to purchase. So as we go into a couple of the glass cabinets here, and as you can see there, the backbone, it started going down in sales now, and shops like this, Beso and Gadget, they don't seem to be moving with them or matching the bigger shops, and maybe that's because of the price they purchased at. Um, but as a consumer, you know, and times are not easy right now, you're going to go with the best price you can if you're determined to buy something. Uh, PlayStation TV there. Now, I purchased one of those off Vinted about two weeks ago for £3. I don't think I'm ever going to use it, <laughs> but it's it was £3. I couldn't pass it up. So into the lonely cabinet of uh, modern day stuff. And these kind of franchises, they do focus more on your modern day stuff rather than your retro. Although some, I get the impression that, that these shops are franchises and it's all dependent on the owner and what direction they want to take. I saw a video um, this weekend with Dan the Games Man who was in a Beso and the retro there was fantastic and it was very minimal in the one you've just seen so it's obviously not store policy. Anyway on to the gadget shop which is in and around London and Essex you've got loads of these around. Um, again I think these are very much franchise based and they sell what the uh, owner will dictate now look, £90 there for that Super Nintendo or N64 control pad for the Switch. Um, that's ridiculous. One thing I will say about this shop is they do have a 
couple of the obscure sort of things that you don't see in your mainstream shops. Uh, that toy soldiers now, I've seen that on a few occasions. It doesn't look like it's my kind of game, but nevertheless, nice to see a couple of games that you don't see out and about every day. A lone Mega Drive cartridge there, see, it's, it's quite strange. Is it me or the switch lights look really outdated now? I like them, I really love them. We've got two at home the kids use, um, and I think they're great, but they do look really outdated when placed alongside other stuff. Again, another one of these N64 pads. £90, I think that's outrageous to be honest with you. Last time I saw CEX was selling it for 50 or 60 Valfaris, a very good game that one. And this Tatio Legends, now £25 on the PlayStation 4. You can pick that up on the Switch for around about £10 if you look around. I know I do. So lots of the usual suspects here, as well as, like I say, the Switch stuff is a little bit more obscure, but when it comes to the PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox stuff, yeah, their lineup of games is pretty much your standard fare. Nice uh, Vita there. I've never owned a Vita and I would like one, but I just don't know what I'd use it for, really. And this is a controller you don't see out and about very often. Nice to see it. We've got a Capcom Super Pocket there as well at $49.99. And that looks second hand, so I can't understand why they're selling it at full value price. Now, £40 for that 2K Drive Lego game. If you're out and about and you're looking at games quite regularly, you know they will not be selling that anytime soon. Sports Direct, aka Game, it's like £13 or something right now. Still need to go and pick that one up. Good selection of the uh, Xbox One. Series X type titles. Although unfortunately nothing here that made me say I need that today. But definitely some variety and um, some good titles scattered around here. Some of the Switch stuff as well. Um, it doesn't state it but these appear to be a bit cheaper. So I'm going to guess these might be second hand. I never spoke to the owners. It was quite busy at the front desk. Um, but yeah, I, I do have a sneaking suspicion that these are second hand. Regardless, they all look in very good condition. I can't say they didn't. And in this particular shop, this is what we call their retro section. Don't blink. Anyway. It'd be rude not to hit the local CEX when you're in the area. They are literally all three of these shops within a one minute walking distance of each other. So whilst here, let's have a look at what Stratford CEX have got on store today. Now I've always liked the Stratford branch, I think it's quite a varied shop and it tends to always have some pretty good stock. Now I really like that Liu Kang dragon statue there, about £100. No, not for me. And the Street Fighter 6 figures here, are these the ones that are inside the box set? So has someone kept the box and just sold the figures? Right, moving into the store and having a look in the glass cabinet of retro. Got some nice Dreamcast titles here.
Now that that looks really, really nice. That uh, Pikachu DS, the condition is really good. You've got a Nitro deck there. I have a mint green one. I can highly recommend them for your Switch. I've been toying with buying um, an OLED Switch. And I think I've made my mind up now. I think I'm just going to wait for whatever console is announced by Nintendo. Nice uh, Mario Paint mouse there. Don't see them every day. Good variety of PlayStation 1 games as well. Now this is something you don't see every day. Team Tap on the Jaguar. So I'm guessing that must be a multi-tap so you can play uh, four players or whatever it may be. I haven't looked it back up and I, I it's the first time I've ever, ever seen one out in the wild. Was there any four player games on the Jaguar that are worth sitting down with your friends <laughs> and actually having a good time with? Let me know in the comment, comments if I'm uh, not giving the Jaguar the credit it deserves. Now since the last time I've been here, there's a lot of the stock, it's quite similar to when I was here last time, it's also a lot of new additions as well. I do love the Master System games, wish we saw more of them out and about, it's a system I'd like to collect for if I had um, more room if I'm totally honest. Very, very nostalgia based system for myself. Got a Game Boy player there. Now they seem to have shot up in price quite a lot in the last year or so. They've always been quite desirable, I will say. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm having a look at the Switch stuff now and the Wii U stuff is it was minimal here today, it really was. And the, the stock here seems to have taken a hit. I don't know whether that was down to Christmas. Um, and them selling absolutely loads or whether or not there's just been some sort of shop refit. A lot of the sections had been moved around like the PlayStation 2 and the Wii. They was in different areas compared to the last time I'd been here. But the stock um, had decreased quite significantly with the Wii and the PS2 most definitely. Now that was a big disappointment for myself on the day because uh, I do like to collect for the PS2 and the occasional Wii title as well. Now I do like the look of that Mickey Mouse game. I've been watching a few videos of that and uh, I think that's one I might pick up uh, very soon. I haven't bought a physical Switch game for a while. Now as you can see here, the Switch section, there was a ton of stuff the last time I was in here. Now it's got to the stage where they can all be displayed with their covers um, out facing, which tells you they don't have as much stock because normally if they've got an abundance of stock, they'll be stacked just like those ones are. And again, with that, nothing that really stood out today. I was tempted to pick up the uh, Pro Evo at 50 pence, but then I thought I'll just buy a can of drink instead. I think I'll get more out of the can of drink upon reflection. Right, so onto the GameCube stuff. Not a bad little selection here, but nothing um, outstanding. Now, this was quite a surprise. Some, uh, some sort of disc that would allow you to play import games on your GameCube. I never knew CEX accepted that kind of thing or even sold it. Yeah, so as you can see, it's nothing outstanding there. And I was very tempted to pick this one again on nostalgia based. I, I went back to it two or three times 
I, I loved the movie as a young kid and at £2.50 I thought I'll give it a go. However, I decided against it. And um, upon watching some videos on the way home uh, on YouTube of that particular game in American Tell, I'm glad I did. Now, I like to look at an Alien vs Predator game. No idea. I've never seen or even heard of that one, if I'm honest. But it looks decent. I do like Garfield, but I can't really stomach too much of him in video games. His, his uh, license has been wasted a little bit, I think, when it comes to video games. Stick to the books and the cartoons. So continuing on with the PlayStation 2. On a Mishra 2, that's one I do want to pick up at some point. I didn't today. Um, I was using vouchers today, so I was trying to be a little bit picky and uh, get games I was really, really looking for. And again, as I said, the um, shop does seem to have taken a restructure of sorts. The PlayStation 3 section does seem to be uh, ever so slightly smaller. That Saw game, that's held its value. I sold my 360 version of that around about a year, year and a half ago. I played through it, uh, had no need to keep it. It is a good title though, it is. Syndicate there, I've never played that at £2.50. Did I do the right thing today by leaving it behind? Let us know in the comments. It's a title I'm interested in, at that price especially. The orange box there next to Infamous, two good games. And Kane and Lynch 2. I've played through both of those. Kane and Lynch 1 I really enjoyed. Kane and Lynch 2. That's a real waste of a game. I think I finished that in like four hours or something. And it was a Christmas present I remember requesting from someone. Um, I felt really cheated on that one. And I had to trade it quick back in the day just to recoup some of the original costs in order to get something that was worthwhile. What I got I'll never remember but yeah very disappointing overall Kane and Lynch 2. And what on earth has happened to John Madden's face? Is that what he looks like now or is that a really bad AI generated photo of him? <laughs> Now I would say it's a small PS5 section, but in all honesty, there's not a massive amount of physical stuff out there for the PS5. It's a good selection, but it's not like it was with the PS3, PS4, um, especially the PS2 and the 1. I mean, so far, as much as I like this branch, some great nostalgic items in the uh, glass cabinets, if you want to pick up that sort of retro. But when it comes to disc-based games, quite a disappointing um, trip today so far. Only for me personally, I mean, there may be something here that you're looking at that you think, I would have picked this up, I would have picked that up. Um, again, I can only go with what I'm looking at purchasing myself. Now it takes two, I saw that there. That's actually a really good game. Me and my son are playing through that um, at the moment. We started it before Christmas and obviously for whatever reason we've kind of taken a break from it. But it's definitely one we're going to pick up uh, again and get back on. It's really good and it's uh, definitely something you can play with your kids.
I've seen this game a few times now. It's saying do not open. I had a look at the back and the uh, first thing I thought of was do not buy. in the ink machine there that's something me and my wife are actually playing at the moment on the xbox um, she's helping me with a bit of a walkthrough guide i'm probably enjoying it more than she is i can uh, safely say that Now the Xbox 360 section, that doesn't look to have gone down by too much. Um, still a very big selection of 360 stuff within this shop. And there was a game uh, here last time that it was getting to that stage where I was thinking, I I'm not picking anything up today, so let's go and look for that game I left here last time. It might be a little bit more expensive than I'd like to pay, but I'm going to pick it up today. And that game was Rambo. And uh, unfortunately, it had gone today. And in hindsight, I think that may be for the best because uh, I don't think it's going to be that good a game. I was going to buy that purely because, one, it didn't look like I was getting anywhere with any purchases today. And I do hate to leave shops without at least something. Good game here, The Punisher. And uh, yeah, number two, sorry, in regards to Rambo. Um, I think I would have regretted it just because it was it is a bad game. I've seen the reviews, I've seen the footage. It looks pretty terrible. But, you know, if you're a fan of John Rambo, what can I say? Very, very small Vita section there. They do seem to be a rarity these days, the Vita games in and around your uh, CEXs. If you go to one. Now look, I missed out on this. Gone up to £15 now. It's still a good deal at £15, I think. So yeah, I'll be revisiting that one uh, at some point soon. And sadly, the Xbox One Series X sections of CEX. This was the last section of games that I'm interested in as I was looking around. And unfortunately, again, there was nothing really here that struck me as I wanted to take it home today. I'd already had a good haul in uh, CEX in Woolwich that day, so I wasn't buying for the sake of it. And I kind of accepted that I could leave without a game on that particular day. You know what us collectors are like, we don't like to leave shops empty handed, um, especially if you can pick something on the cheap and it feels justified, but unfortunately that wasn't happening today. So on the way home I went to buy some cereal in Panland, which is literally just across the road and uh, I saw these fake wrestling figures. Uh, Picked a couple of them up for my middle boy Archie. Uh, they can be his jobbers. And I was quite impressed with the uh, WrestleMania 3 set there um, at £7. Um, didn't purchase it, I've got nowhere for it. I'm not too bothered about the Edge and Christian one. Anyway, guys, if there's anything um, you saw today that I should have picked up, let me know in the comments. I hope you liked the video. If you haven't already, please take the time, hit that subscribe, hit the like button, notifications, and I will see you all on the next video. Take care.